Hello everyone, this is Rong Zhong. Thank you so much for backing my Indiegogo campaign for Nibo, the first product of OpenCAT. Although there are still one month before I ship out the early bird kits, I think it's a good time to start documenting some of the instructions. I'm also taking some time to document and comment the code on GitHub, but it takes time. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble Nibo's hat. Warning here, if you are always a puzzle solver and want to figure out every piece by yourself, then just turn off this video. You already know that Nibo is made from laser cut pieces, so they are all flat pieces. How to make 3D body from flat pieces. It's extremely hard because you cannot screw into the wood from the side. You will break the fibers. Now take a look at this head without the ultrasound sensor in it. It's easier to see all these structures. Uh, it's like a skull of the cat, to be or not to be. And we have all these pieces to make that head. Let me group them first. These five pieces will be the neck that connecting head and the body. And these five pieces will be the head. Let's start from the smaller group. This is the base. And I will call this smaller pieces neck, just for convenience. We can make the right angle connection by inserting this neck into the base and slide it to the side. So it's, this is one vertical connection. On the other side, the same thing. Insert and slide. OK. But it's still possible that these pieces will fall out from the slot. So I have two smaller locker to insert into this slot and slide to the middle. See? So by putting this little lock inside, it's pushing this piece and keep it vertical. This structure is already quite stable with the friction between this little locker and the base. We can do the same thing on the other side. Insert it and slide to the side. Actually, it's the middle. OK, quite stable vertical connection. And I know someone will be worried that these smaller lockers will also fall out. So we have this final piece. This is a straight servo arm that can be screwed onto these two holes. And with this in place, the two smaller lockers will never fall out from this slot. OK? Just imagine, we will screw on this, this servo arm from here, fix it here, and the whole thing is locked. And this servo arm will be connected to the servo on Nibo's body or shoulder. Let's take a look of the head pieces. A good way to solve large 
puzzle is to start from smaller pieces. So let's think about how to put the mouth into the middle piece. Not this way. Not that way. So the correct way to insert it is to slide it from here. And notice how the dent on this mouthpiece will be moving to. Okay? First to the end of this track and match the dent with the middle piece. Rotate it and push it up. Okay? The second piece will be the eye. This is easier just to push it into this dent and push it forward from the bottom. You will need to use some force here because I want to make it tight. Okay? The third piece will be the ultrasound sensor. You will bend the pins in this direction to allow the connectors later. Just insert it. Okay. Third piece could either be this one or this one. Now the tricky thing is happen. It's happening because you cannot insert it in this way. It's too long here. What about in this way? Still too long, but if you remove the mouthpiece, then it's the right dimension to allow the ear to be slide to the other side and to be inserted in this way later. Okay? So since the ear has been passing through the middle piece, we can put back the mouth. So far so good. And we can insert the eye now. Like this. Everything is possible to get off their positions, right? So we need a lock from the bottom. Slide it through this slot. Notice this little tab. It will be inserted to the dent on the mouthpiece. Okay? The tab is now inside the mouthpiece and the mouthpiece is locked. The top surface is also pushing the eyepiece so it will not be able to rotate in this direction. Now we push the earpiece, slide into the two tracks. Okay, so the earpiece is pushing the ultrasound forward. The ultrasound is locked. So with the current setup, the only thing that may break the whole structure is if the earpiece will be dropping from here, right? So we will have our last lock, the servo. This servo has a wire, so I have a wire organizer here. This is a dent to allow the wire to go through and slide the servo into this big slot on the middle piece. 
the dimension is very very critical. It's just the right size to allow it into the middle slot. Okay, push it. The servo is pushing the earpiece forward, and the earpiece and the bottom piece is locking everything in place. This is already quite stable. To enhance this structure, you just put two screws here and here to finally lock everything. To connect the head and the neck, you will use a cross servo arm. Screw it onto one side of the neck, trim the extra arm, be careful, leave at least two screw holes on this side. So I will leave three. Okay. So this screw, this servo arm can be fixed by screws onto the neck. And this servo arm will be connected to the servo in this way. Okay. Now the whole head and neck group is fixed. Don't forget that you have this lock, you need to screw onto it, and the whole thing will be mounted to the body. like this. Now you have a quite nice pen tilt servo mount here without much screws, right? Thanks for watching. And if you like this design, don't forget to share it. And don't forget that I'm still running the Indiegogo campaign. And if you can share the link to my campaign page, that would be great helpful for me to continue on this project. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.